Hi, welcome to the show. If you could start by giving us, uh, you know, some amount of details with regards to the payment terms uh, for the company. What is your schedule of payment uh, currently looking like for the company? And what are the margins that you would be targeting as well? I'm really happy and delighted to share that, you know, we have won the 400 MLD desalination plant from Chennai Metro Water Board and it is funded by JICA. This is the largest desalination plant in entire Southeast Asia. And with this, Wabak has moved to a different league globally to the desalination business. As far as this particular order is concerned, the total value is 4,400 crores. And we will be executing this contract over a period of 42 months, which will be followed by 20 years of when? So it's not only that it's going to give us revenue initially, it is also going to give us an annual business for the next 20 years. Apart from this, all I can say is that, you know, it's a JICA funded, multilateral funded, and that's the reason we like these contracts because we have a lot of payment security and the cash flows are always positive in these kind of contracts. We definitely look forward to you know, creating history as far as India is concerned and, you know, moving into a different league in desalination business going forward. Okay, it's indeed a very order of 4,400 crores. So you will be moving up, uh, you know, and completely in a different uh, league, as you said. But could you give us some indication about the payment cycle, back-ended, front-ended, and will it be margin dilutive given the EPS uh, nature of it? EPC nature. All I can sh share with you is Definitely the payment terms are good. We will be cash positive throughout this contract. Okay. Any other large order in the pipeline, uh, Rajneesh, that you can apprise us of, similar under one city, one operator? And what is the targeted order inflow for the next fiscal as well? I think uh, definitely we are also looking very optimistic going forward about new large acts. But as you must be aware that recently we have won another contract, which is 800 crores, design, build, operate, a 200 million liters per day wastewater plant, which will also be generating green energy for captive use. This is a contract in Bangladesh, which is funded by World Bank and AIIB. So both put together, you know, we have already crossed around 5,200 crores worth of order intake. And during my last interaction with CNBC, I think I had mentioned very clearly that we are well hopeful that you know, we'll be closing 5,000 crore plus in this quarter. So as going forward, I think you would have seen that in the last four to five years, gradually our ticket size of the contracts is increasing. So both in India as well as overseas, Thing. Going forward, you'll see that we will be making bids for larger projects. In fact, we have already made some large bids overseas and uh, both uh, in India also. And I think in next quarter, probably we will be, maybe once you know the results are out, we'll be able to throw more light on those contract bids. We'll talk more about uh, where you've uh, recently bid, but tell us about this Bangladesh order that you alluded to in terms of the execution, the revenue recognition, any timelines. And I think you said that the order inflows have crossed 5,200 crores so far. What is the total order book position, the number? We have not closed, uh, you know, the order, so it's very difficult to hazard any numbers. But all I can share is that, you know, with these two contracts, we were already 10,000 crore plus at end of Q3. So certain backlog will definitely be executed, but we will be closing this particular fiscal year in the highest ever order backlog in the history of Babak. And the timelines, as I said, for this desalination contract, it's around 42 months. Similarly, we have another contract which will be 800 crores. The Bangladesh will all be executed over the next 24 to 30 months. So all put together, I think, uh, given the nature of the business, all these EPC contracts, they will be on the outer side, you know, maybe around three years uh, will be the time to execute the entire EPC backlog. 
Okay, what about operate and maintenance, uh, that particular part of the order book? Uh, what is the pickup on that front? PC execution is concerned. The only thing where we found a little slowdown, and we mentioned it earlier also, we have a major contract in Russia. Because of the sanctions, uh, you know, there are certain material which was already ordered on some particular vendors. And uh, since those countries are under sanctions, so there has been a bit of slow down because now we are moving the same orders to you know different vendors where you know these sanctions are not applicable other than that both on the overseas and domestic front i think our execution is well on target as far as volume is concerned i think our order book was around 3400 crores okay when and what about epc you had earlier said that engineering procurement will be the focus area does that continue? Um, and what about margins? What's the outlook on margins from here on? Whatever we are targeting, I, we are pretty sure that uh, you would have seen that up till Q3, our focus has moved from top line to bottom line. And our margins have improved. We are going forward. We are quite hopeful that uh, we'll be able to you know, keep our margins intact. And uh, given the new order, book which we have recently shared with you, I think uh, definitely there will be an appreciable growth in the top line revenue also. So I think in coming two to three years, given the very, very strong order backlog, which is, you know, more than 3x visibility, I think both top line and bottom line will grow. And uh, since our focus has been on cash margins, I think it will continue in spite of a growth of top line. Okay, all right, so we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and bringing us your perspective. So that's VA.